Hello Dolphies, it's Kat here, and Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And as I've said before on this channel, it is one of my all-time favorite holidays because everything is just pink and heart-shaped and so cute, and I just want to buy everything everywhere. I love Valentine's Day. So of course, I love to do Valentine's Day makeup looks. It's some of my favorite ones because it's all in my color scheme. And they're just so cute and fun, so I can't resist. So this year, my roommate kind of helped me come up with an idea of doing one theme, four looks. Get it? 14 for Valentine's Day? <laughs> but yes, we're going to do four cute Valentine's Day looks going from kind of easy to a little bit difficult. Either way, they're just a bunch of ideas that you could wear on Valentine's Day if you'd like, or just hang out and do what you want to do. Valentine's Day, again, is your night. Doesn't matter if you have a significant other or not. Just dress up cute and have fun. So if you'd like to see how I got the makeup looks, please keep watching. So we're starting off with foundation and brows, and let's move on and do some eye work. I'm just going to zoom y'all in a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into a red eyeshadow. I am going to go into the Conspiracy palette and go in with the shade Flaming Hot. Now I'm going in with a small detailed brush to do this. I'm going to try to create a more harsher line and not as soft and blended as I normally would, because this is just going to go all over your crease. It's just basically like the whole eye. I'm going to go in and outline where my crease is and bring it in like that. This is going to be a first for me. I am not going to be blending this out. I'm actually going to try to keep this as harsh as I can. So I'm just going in and angling this out into a cat eye. Then I'm going to take that same red and just put it on the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going in with a liquid eyeshadow. This is Wet n Wild's Ruby Heist. Now I put this bright red base, so this one would have like a nice brighter base to go on top of. And we're going to put this all over the lid to give it a nice shiny moment. So ever we put that red, we're putting this red. Then we're just going to take a very shimmery white shadow. I'm using Ranch from Conspiracy Palette and I'm going to set that in the middle of my eye. I'm actually going to bring that in the inner corner as well. Now this look is very inspired by my shirt. As you see, it has this really cute little like gingham heart and flower motif going on that I'm really all about and I feel like it's just very Valentine's y and fun. So we're going to start adding those around the perimeter of the eye look. So I'm going to just go in with some body paints and we're going to use those to create flowers. And at the ends here, we're going to do the white hearts with the arrows coming out of them. Make sure your hair is out of the way. And then we're going to start adding some flowers around it. So I'm first going to go in with a little pink. And we're just going to do a little like swirls around it. All this is going to be outlined in a little bit, so just remember that. Then I'm going to go in with a red paint and start putting that into the center of where we put the pink paint. Now 
Then with a smaller detailing brush and more white paint, we're gonna go in and just start adding lines of our flowers. So my shirt has like gold embroidery around all the embroidered little flowers and hearts so we're going to go in with a gold liner and start outlining everything. And then just to break up the flowers a little bit because you can see they're kind of like looking like they're together, I'm going to go in with just a green paint and just add little leaves to the corners. Okay, so the eyes are done. We're gonna move on to the rest of the face. I'm just going in with a red blush. I'm gonna start applying that heavily all over the face. The Kabuki brush really blend it all out. Take a goldy highlight and start applying that all over the face. And then we're going to finish it all off with a metallic red lip. All right, so foundation and brows are already done. Let's move on to some color. So I'm starting in with the Jawbreaker palette and I'm gonna take the shade Virgin and I'm gonna run that all over my eyes. This is gonna help just soften every color and make everything blend better. So I'm first gonna go in with the shade Gumdrop and I'm put that on the outer corner of the eye and just lightly blend that out. Then we're gonna go in with the shade Bubblegum and we're gonna start blending that into the corner with the purple. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Wow and I'm gonna press that all over the lid.
Then on the lower lash line, we're gonna take the shade Cute and we're gonna run that all throughout our lower lash. Then I'm gonna take a minty green eyeliner and run that through my waterline. So this is the colorful candy base, but all the cute little candy hearts do have red lettering. So I'm gonna go in with a red eyeliner and just do a little red line going on. Now I'm gonna add mascara and lashes off screen. I'll be right back. All right, so eyes are done. Let's move on to the rest of the face. Now I did already do my contour because I just feel like watching people contour is boring and I don't really do a lot of it, so there's no point. I'm gonna go in with a bright bubblegum baby pink and I'm gonna start applying this all over my cheeks because I love blush and we all know that on the show. For highlight, we're going to go into the I Love You So Mochi palette from NYX, and we're going to go into this blue shade right here. This is the RK. That's not my highlighting brush. So for highlight, we're going to go into the I Love You So Mochi palette, the RK Glam. I'm going to go into this blue shade here. I'm going to apply that all over my cheekies, making sure I'm nice and glowy. I'm gonna apply this also to the inner corner of my eye just to make sure we open it up and brighten it. For lips, I'm gonna go in to Sugar Pills Lala and I'm gonna apply that on my lippies. Now we could stop the look here, but like, come on, it's Valentine's Day. We gotta be extra, we gotta add more hearts. Now we know I've done a candy hearts freckled look before, so I'm not gonna do that again. You know, that's so cute and I love it. And I could wear it every day if I really wanted to, but we're gonna keep it pretty chill. We are gonna do some candy hearts on the face. For one, we're not gonna paint them. Um, I found these really cute candy heart stickers at Michael's, and I thought I would just put a couple of them around my eyes, finish up the look. And that way I can take them off without having to worry about ruining my makeup before work today. So, yeah, I'm just going to picture a couple of these. I think I want to do, ooh, is there a pink one that says cutie pie or only the orange ones say cutie pie? You know what, there's no orange in the makeup, so we'll do little orange hearts. We'll do little cutie pie here. Just because I really like that it says cutie pie. So we'll do two little hearts on the cheekies. Should we do another one? How about the purple, you are cute. Up here, we'll do three. We'll do three around the eyes, that's what I'm doing. Don't you guys know I don't plan any of this before I start filming? And then we'll do the pink I love yous here. So as you can tell, the audio is not matching up with my mouth right now, and that is because, well, my microphone wasn't plugged in, sadly. So we're going to start off this look going in with a neon pink eyeshadow, and we're going to start just blowing this out across our entire eye, really, really blending it out. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see better, because, like, it's pretty far away. But we're going to go in and just really blend this all around the eye, bringing this all the way down. Like, it's going to look like you have a black eye that's neon pink. This is the kind of vibe we're going for. It's like the base of all the darkness that we're going to be adding. This is the heartbreaker look, you know. So we're going to put this hot pink everywhere and just blend it out into oblivion. So just keep blending it and blending it and adding more pink until you're satisfied. 
Then I'm going in with a like darker burgundy purple color and this is just going to add some more depth and deepness to around the eyes and I'm really focusing this on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. Kind of like a halo eye because we are going to be doing something into the center of the lid so you don't have to worry about it. So really just focus this color on the outside and the inside. I'm really just blowing this out again. This is the more darker color. Again, we're getting darker and darker as we get into the center of the eye. Kind of like the center of your heart, you know, just like a black abyss. So I zoomed you guys out because we're not finishing the eyes just yet. We're going to actually go to the face and start taking that same hot pink eyeshadow and use it as our blush. Really, really, really blowing this all over the place. Like this pink goes everywhere on your face. You know like the like Marie Antoinette blush? That's what we're doing here. This hot pink is just the tie into everywhere. Again, even though this is a little dark sad look, we need this pink to really break it up and brighten it a little bit because we don't want to be too sad, you know? We can feel heartbroken and dark. but. We need to add some light to this, so just make sure you blow that pink all over, and don't forget your nose, guys. It's it's always important to put nose blush. Gotta add some glow because you can't have too much highlighter with any look, especially looks with like this much blush. You really need just to add a little extra oomph. So I'm taking a whitey pink highlighter, and I'm just applying this to the normal places I would highlight, bring it through the brow bone, my temples, just really, really extra highlighting. Don't forget the tip of your nose, it's always important. Just like highlight to the gods. We need to add some lightness to this darkness, you know, add some hope. Now that our base is done, we can go into the eye part. So the center of my halo eye is going to be a black heart. It is my heart this Valentine's Day, and that is what we're putting onto the center of the lid. So instead of like a bright sparkly color, we're going to do an outline of a heart and fill it in. Now, I have a hooded eye, so it makes it a little bit difficult. So you really want to make sure you're checking your mirror and that everything is kind of lining up so it doesn't look like a big like blob. So I kind of made it really thick on top, but then thin through the center of my lid. As you can see, it's not all just like one big heart. It's really pining in so it can match up better with the triangles that I will be drawing underneath. I really want to make sure it all looked good and cohesive. And like when my eyes were open, you could still tell it was a heart. Because, you know, when you have hooded eyes, it's kind of hard to see all the work you do on your lid. But you see what I mean? Like it kind of lines up. And when you close your eyes, it still looks good. So again, just make sure you start it wide, but really bring it in. And then I wanted to make sure my waterline tied in with the hearts as well. So I took a pink eyeliner and I made sure I ran that on just the outer corner and the inner corner of my waterline. So that focuses in on those and then kind of co ties it into the colors underneath. So it's like not just this big gap between the hearts. And then I put the black where the hearts lined up just so there was again more cohesion and that I just didn't look like it was all separate besides the eye and I just think that really kind of just added a little extra special touch to the hearts but I couldn't just leave the hearts alone basic and black and matte I wanted to add some glitter so I first went in with this like glitter liquid shadow by wet and wild and though it did look really pretty it was not as glittery as I wanted it to be it was kind of like a matte silver glitter and I wanted some extra sparkle because even though I'm sad, I love to still have some glitter. So I took a loose glitter. This one is from Lime Crime. Sadly, it is discontinued. It's from their Zodiac glitter line. You can get it though off of eBay and stuff. This one is Scorpio. And I just pressed it onto the still wet liquid eyeshadow that I had. And this gave the sparkle that I wanted. Ugh, I love this glitter so much. I am so, so, so sad that it's no longer available on their website because it is truly the best glitter I've ever used. Ugh, RIP. Really what makes me sad is that's my broken heart right there is not being able to get this glitter anymore. Not boys, glitter. No, it's a boy. <sighs> so sad. And then I just wanted to go back in and highlight the inner corners of my eye with that same highlighter just, you know, to pop them out a bit. Make sure they weren't all completely black. Now I felt like this look needed more hearts than just the two in the eye, so I just went onto the sides of my face and I drew little black hearts and I just thought it was really cute and so I went in, added a couple more 
and I think right now this is when I was actually ranting about the boy. Um, I was like seeing him for like two months and then he was just like, yeah, I don't want anything serious, you know, just fun. And then literally like ghosted and is now in a relationship and that's cool, right? Like totally makes lots of sense. Woo! That's what I was ranting here. And then I went and outlining those hearts, making some of them broken hearts because, you know, this is the broken hearts club. We are sad and alone. Sorry to be so negative. I know the rest of this video is positive, but God, I was going through it during this video. And this, the, uh, the voiceover really doesn't show how much I was feeling during this, but, you know, we just deal with it. Sorry I sound kind of funny too, I'm kind of getting over a cold, which is why this video has been delayed so much, because I've, uh, I've just been too sick to edit. But I'm just going and outlining and adding little broken hearts to these, thought I'd just add, it makes it look cute. And then I was saying that I was going to add mascara and lashes and I'd be right back, but I ended up not putting lashes on because I thought it would take away from the hearts. So then I wanted to finish up this look with a nice black lip. We know how much I love a black lip on this channel. So I wanted to just make sure it was like a big old lip. So I overdrew my lips a little bit. I wanted them to be a big focus besides just the eyes because there's really not as much going on this look as I normally would do. So I wanted to make sure there was still a little bit of extraness. And of course, I couldn't just leave that color alone. I needed to add glitter to the lips as well. So I went with a diamond crusher and black unicorn and I just topped the black with that. And that is the finished Sad Girls Club look. That is me. That is how I'm feeling. Let's move on to the next look. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the shade Good Morning in the Jawbreaker palette and we're going to put that all over our lids. And on a tapered blending brush, I'm going to go in to Cherry Wet and I'm going to run that throughout just my crease. I'm bringing that same cherry color underneath the eye as well. I just want to deepen this up just a little tiny bit, so I'm going to go into raspberry and put that on the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Snack and I'll play that all over the lid. Then I'm going with a white eyeliner and I'm going to tight line my waterline. Then I'm going to take a red eyeliner and I'm going to give myself a little cat eye. Next we're going to go in and do some blush. I'm going in with a bright pastel pink. This is pink grapefruit from BMAP City Colors. And you guys know it's my favorite blush in the entire world. I'm going to apply this all over the cheeks. Get wild with it. And then I want a very nice like pinky highlight, so I'm going to go into the shade Silver Lining from the uh, Never Forget Your Daydream palette by Essence. I'm going to apply that on my cheeks. and apply that into my inner corner as well.
For lips, I'm gonna go in with Jeffree's Hi, How Are You? It's just a really nice cherry red. I'm gonna apply that on the lippies. And then I'm going to top that off with Diamond Crusher and Heirloom, which is a really pretty pink glitter. Now we could stop here, but who wants to do that? I'm going to go in with a white paint and I'm just going to do some little hearts around the eyes because I just think it'd be cute. So I'm just going to go with this haul brush and just do little hearts. And this is the final look of my one theme for looks video. I had so much fun creating these Valentine's Day looks. Pinks and reds are my favorite to play with, so like I just love when this time of year comes around because I can put them all over my face and it's not a big deal. I mean, I do it year round anyway, but like when you get to look like a Valentine for Valentine's, it feels really cute. Yes, there was a darker look in this and kind of feeling a little dark right now. Got some news that have really kind of made me sad. And boys suck and I hate them. But yes, this is all good. I feel cute. I love this so much. I just like, I love the Valentine's Day aesthetic. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I would just be really, really proud of you guys. I hope you stay lovely. Bye!